वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्यूटर स्टडी स्टैंडर्ड इलेवेंथ इंग्लिश मीडियम चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू मल्टीमीडिया पार्ट टू नाउ यू प्लीज वॉच दी वीडियो फ्रॉम दी स्टार्टिंग टू दी एंड सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी पार्ट बिसाइड दी एम सी क्यूज विल बी आस फ्रॉम दिस थिंग ओनली दैट इज वाई ऑल्सो यू हैव टू वॉच दी वीडियो एंड वीडियोज हैव मेड आर वेरी स्मॉल से टेन टू ट्वेल्व मिनिट्स और मैक्सिमम फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स so welcome back students in the previous video we had studied that there are basic five multimedia elements in this video i am going to teach you the first multimedia element and that is text now before i start teaching you two important things i would like to tell you first thing is that mcqs will be asked in computer exams now in other subjects ready made digest containing the question answers are available while in computer you will have to prepare a computer fair book and to suggest you that this sentence could be formed a question or could form an mcq i have marked the uh, keywords using blue color and i have underlined those word words all over the video so every time i don't need to tell you that from here mcq could be asked right so follow that thing anywhere you find blue color text or underline text you understand that from here mcq could be formed another thing is all those who are new on my channel and haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel because this channel is going to be useful to you all in standard 11th as well as standard 12th i am teaching as if i am teaching in a personal tuition class only nothing more i can teach even if i take tuition classes so take interest and study the thing fine so now we come to the topic including text in multimedia is the basic step towards the development of any multimedia presentation now even if you prepare a presentation using so many images or any other element it will not look meaningful until and unless you insert the text element text is used to communicate information to the users proper usage of text and words in multimedia will help to communicate the ideas and messages to the users now see another thing is text could be of any type it could be a single word a single line or a paragraph anything the textual data for the multimedia can be developed using any text editor such as notepad or wordpad nowadays in our mobile phone also we have got various apps such as color notes and many more through which you can we can uh, enter the text now there are two types of text simple text and formatted text now to give formatting effects we need a word processing software such as microsoft word or open office now we all are familiar with microsoft word but what is open office your computer textbook is designed using an operating system called ubuntu now ubuntu does not support microsoft package so in that open office could be installed it is a free software but it is not good like microsoft word so i don't uh, suggest you to install that software now these softwares helps us to format the text what is the meaning of formatting formatting means changing the looks by making the text bold italic underline changing the alignment adding colors in the background changing the color of the text these all things the text can have different types size color used as per the requirement as we saw just now that the text can have different type that is known as font or typeface size style and color a typeface or font is a family of characters or letters which have different looks for example 
एरियल टाइम्स न्यू रोमन कोरियल एंड मैनी मोर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आर चॉइस वी चूज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉन्ट हियर यू टू रिमेंबर फॉर एम सी क्यू ऑल्सो द टेक्सट बुक एज यूज दी वर्ड टाइप फेस एंड वी कॉल इट फॉन्ट नो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज साइज साइज इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टॉप ऑफ द लेटर टू द बॉटम पॉइंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेल्व पॉइंट ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एक्सेट्रा एंड स्टाइल स्टाइल्स मीन डिफरेंट थिंग दैट इज बोल्ड इटैलिक्स और अंडरलाइन वी कैन चेंज द कलर साइज एंड फॉन्ट ऑफ द सिलेक्टेड वर्ड्स और लेटर्स और पैराग्राफ्स फर्दर फॉन्ट टाइप is categorized into serif and sans serif here i will be teaching you both the things that is serif font what is serif font and what is the importance where to use serif font and where to use sans serif font i am 100% sure that you will not be aware about this thing so let's begin the teaching of serif font serif has a little decoration at the end of the characters on the bottom part in yellow and white color background i have printed the alphabets in that if you observe at the ending border you can see a little bit of decoration or a horizontal line the exit word is horizontal line is given at the bottom part and the top part of the font now why it is given that i will explain you just now before that Times New Roman, Century, Bookman, etc., are some of the examples of serif font. These fonts are easy to read on a printed page. See, this is the importance why this type of fonts are used in the printed books. This fonts are easy to read on a printed page as the guide, as it guides the eyes along the line of the text. especially when the content of the page is too long now when so much thing is printed on the page your eyes needs to travel in the same line it should not go to the other any line so this font is helpful we are not knowing this thing but this is a fact now on computer screen due to low resolution serif font are difficult to be read that is why it is not used there for example just now in this presentation which i have prepared i have used sans serif font now we try to understand what is sans serif font and where is it used now the word sans is french word it means without this fonts are without any sort of decoration arial verdana and helvetica are examples of sans serif font see these all things could be asked in the mcqs sans serif font are used in headlines and titles especially it is used in the powerpoint presentation now see in powerpoint presentation or wherever you want to give heading the content of the heading is of single line or maximum two line setting now there the eyes will travel in that line only because that line is not so long neither the font are too small and that is why their serif font are used besides presentation is to be shown on the computer screen and there also the content will not be so long and that is why and due to low, low resolution of the uh, screen this type of fonts are used on the bottom part of this slide you can see the alphabets which are printed are printed using sans serif font now in this video i am trying to explain you the thing in such a way that you will be able to easily remember all these things you will not have to mug up the things so i don't know how my efforts are working how much are my efforts uh, fruitful for you or not but according to me this is the way i am teaching you hope you may be able to understand the thing instead of simply me reading out the thing from the textbook now text in multimedia is different from the text used in traditional pen and paper method in traditional 
method only text is used to convey the information here you can see the example also of biotechnology then in multimedia other elements with text are also used that also example I have given here text in multimedia should be short to to the point and attractive here you can see I have written minimum things and it should be to the point no need to add so many things when you want to explain a simple concept only that much you have to add rest of the thing could be explained verbally also as per the textbook an example of how to insert word art in a presentation is explained here now see I know that you all are genius and you all know this simple thing but since it is given in the textbook that is why I have to explain you so continue watching another thing here in your textbook the software other than Microsoft Word is used in which word art is known as font work now assume that we want to make a presentation on Gujarat tourism using PowerPoint first we need to create the main page with the title Gujarat tourism we can simply type it as a simple text and give effects to it but a better option to make it look attractive is to add word art now we will see how to add word art it is to be noted that in the textbook instead of PowerPoint as I told you just now open office impress is used there is nothing to get impress in this thing huh? PowerPoint is much more better than this is used in which word art is known as font work so practically I will teach you the thing now see dear students at our house we don't have open office impress we all use PowerPoint presentation of Microsoft but the exam paper will be set from the textbook so whatever I am teaching you just now please listen to that thing attentively first step is to open a blank presentation in open office impress thereafter you have to click on the view menu and from the view menu you have to select toolbars option from the toolbars you have to select drawing what will happen this will open drawing toolbar or drawing toolbox on the drawing toolbar or toolbox click on the font work gallery the name is font work gallery this also could be asked in the MCQ and the icon is in the square shape it will be written A in blue color so what will happen a font work gallery dialog box as shown in this figure will open in the font work gallery dialog box select any of the style see here so many styles are given from that whichever style you like that you have to select and you have to click on the ok button so the font work object is inserted into the document as shown in this picture this type of font work object is inserted into the document now what you have to do is straight away start typing Gujarat tourism so the word font work will be replaced by Gujarat tourism after you finish typing press the escape key you can see that now like this way Gujarat tourism will appear and you can uh, change the size by dragging it from the drag handles which are given on all the corners and all the sides now I am teaching you practically in PowerPoint how simple and easy it is first thing is you have to click on the insert menu you have to select the word art you have to select the font style whichever you want to use for example I select this style and simply you have to type the text thereafter you cannot drag anything from the corner you have to select the text by triple clicking and then you have to increase the font size as per, per your need after this if you want to rotate this thing you can rotate it see these all features are not given in open office impress only the name is impress then from here I can change the font color 
I can change the font outline. I can give the text effect like uh, shadow or reflection. Reflection will not look good here because I have uh, changed the orientation that is rotated the text. So like this way it is very simple in PowerPoint. Here we complete this video. If you like the video please hit the like button and we meet in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.